Hey everyone, welcome back, welcome back to the channel. My name's Grant, in today's video, we're gonna talk about using Micro Four Thirds for product photography. Can you use Micro Four Thirds for product photography? Well, the answer is yes. So let's just end the video there. Only joking, let's roll that intro, let's get straight into it. Hey everyone, welcome back. So yeah, Micro Four Thirds, using Micro Four Thirds for product photography. Now for me, I love product photography. I love doing it, I love the genre, everything about it. My product photography is more sort of like lifestyle based product photography. I don't really do like, you know, the white background sort of stuff, only when I need to. Shooting details, all that sort of stuff, I really get a kick out of it. And I've been doing it for quite a while now and I use Micro Four Thirds. In particular, the two cameras I use most of the time are my Panasonic G9. This is a great uh, camera for product photography. I also use my Lumix G85. I use this a lot for product photography. This really is my run and gun setup, you know, for capturing details and all that sort of thing. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about three key features and why Micro Four Thirds is great for product photography. And I'm also gonna give you some tips and tricks, you know, to get out there and start doing product photography and things you should maybe look out for when you're using Micro Four Thirds and shooting product photography. I have said product photography probably 500 times by now. Let's get straight into it. <laughs> So for me, it's all about the sensor and the megapixels. So on the G9, we've got 20 megapixels, more than enough for you know detail shots and doing product photography. I use this camera all the time. The raw files are fantastic. Moving over into a Lightroom, there's so much room to edit them and really bring out the details, shadows, highlights, all that sort of stuff. The G85, on the other hand, is only a 16 megapixel sensor, still more than enough for shooting details. And also, in my opinion, there's something about the 16 megapixels in this particular camera that really renders colors nicely, and it really makes products really stand out. So the resolution, image quality, megapixels, all that sort of stuff, that's the first key feature. The other key feature is the image stabilization. Image stabilization built into these two cameras cannot be beat and you really do lean into a lot when you're doing product photography. Especially when you sync your camera up with a stabilized lens, um, you know, the image stabilization comes in real handy. You wanna avoid that camera shake and get nice crisp images, and the image stabilization helps out a lot with that. So that's another great feature about Micro Four Thirds, in particular the Lumix cameras, the great image stabilization for product photography. Okay, another key feature. Now, I guess this more or so is a, you know, a mirrorless sort of thing, you know, modern mirrorless cameras, but it's the constant preview. Seeing what you're getting on the display in the uh, LCD screen, on the back screen, seeing what you get using, you know, your histogram, obviously, but also using the, the zebra patterns or zebra patterns, whatever you want to call it. You can really dial in your exposure in camera and really nail it which really saves a lot in post-production. If you can get it done in camera, it's always the way to go. The other great thing about Micro Four Thirds for product photography is the ability to be nimble, okay? Now this really comes into play when I use my G85 for product photography. This really is my run and gun setup. You know, this camera is so light, even with a bigger, heavier lens, it's still very light and still very nimble. It's great for getting in there and capturing all the details. This is also a great camera because it's lightweight to put on a boom arm or a tripod for top-down shots and flat lays, things like that. This camera is fantastic. Okay, so they're the sort of features that, you know, I really, as I've said before, lean into with my uh, Lumix cameras for doing uh, product photography. Now I'm gonna give you some tips. Okay. 
Okay, tip number one, don't be afraid to bump up that ISO and really lean into that image stabilization, okay? Micro Four Thirds, it is a smaller sensor, so you know you might have to bump up your ISO a little bit more depending on your lighting situations. You really wanna keep an eye on that shutter speed so you don't get any blurry shots. Okay, tip number two, learn lighting and learn how to use it. For me and my product photography, I've got a nice natural window light. It's actually over there where the curtains are. Um, and I always uh, display my products just in the base of that window with a reflector. Or sometimes I might use a solid light like I'm using here to light me right now. So learning how to use lighting correctly and light your scene is really important for photography in general, let's just face it. Okay, next tip, dialing it in correctly in camera okay and as i said you know using the constant preview the preview mode you can see what you're getting if you can dial in your shot as good as you can get that's really going to save a lot of room in post-production that's the great thing about mirrorless cameras really you know gone are the days where you have to you know, chimp and check mirrorless cameras are the future okay last tip now this is a big one and i haven't mentioned it yet but it is lens choice. The lens I use 90% of the time for product photography is my Panasonic Leica 12 to 60 uh, zoom lens. This lens is fantastic. It is super sharp, especially when you go to f4 to f5.6. You wanna be a bit higher with your apertures when you're doing product photography so you get everything in focus, if that's the look you're going for. I know a lot of people like prime lenses for product photography, and that's cool too. There really is no right or wrong lens to choose. But for me, this lens is fantastic. Another lens I used to use was the Olympus 12 to 40 f 2.8. Man, that lens is fantastic for product photography. It's almost got macro qualities to it. The minimal focusing distance is through the roof. For me, I just like the versatility that a zoom lens gives me when I'm doing uh, product photography. But as I said, you know, there's no right or wrong here. Some people like using, um, you know, primes. Sometimes I lean a lot into my 25mm f1.7. This actually is a great little product photography lens when it comes to primes and cheap. A lot of people like using macro lenses. I used to use the Olympus 60mm f2.8 lens a lot for product photography. That thing was fantastic. So macro lenses are another great option. But really when it comes down to it, this last tip about lens choice, it doesn't really matter what lens you use. I even use wide angle lenses for product photography sometimes. My 12mm f1.4 is great for capturing like a cool sort of atmospheric look on products but just choose a lens or two and really learn how it works and how it will tie into your style of product photography so there you have it that's my video on product photography so let me know what you think down in the comments below do you use micro four thirds for product photography what cameras are you using what lenses do you use let me know down below i'll be very interested to hear it and if you like this sort of thing please consider subscribing to the channel that helps me out a lot big thumbs up for the video and i'll see you all next time bye